Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mega Play. I am Nick, recording the first official Let's Play episode from the new location. That's right, it's how to date a magical girl is back. And we're finally at a point where we've not only caught up to the date in the game, but we have now surpassed it because I'm recording this on the 30th. And it's been a hot minute since we played. Let's see, last time Noriko got cut the fuck up and was scary. Because our, our, our teacher came in there, just wrecked shit. And so we left in a huff, and I refused to go to school today. And I don't have to go to school today, because I'm 34, and I don't have to go to school anymore. I'm all done with it. Seeing Noriko cut down before me was just too much to handle. It doesn't help that I can't get her words out of my head. What were her words again? Thank you for the refresher. A higher power commands you, like puppets on a string. Puppets on strings, even. Pluralized. All of you are marionettes, your fate's deter determined on a whim by an unseen force. Oh, are you trying to get meta and say that that's me playing the game? But know this, one, am one among you has already betrayed you. Someone close to you has already sealed the outcome of your lives. Someone close has betrayed us. Noriko, you're the only one that betrayed me. You lured me in and made me think you were a friend, but you were the leader of the Cult of Nine, the one responsible for so many murders at the Academy. My phone buzzes. I tried to ignore it, but the lit up screen captures my curiosity. Oh, Takari. Hey, sorry about yesterday. You know, I know you saw your friend get cut down and all that, and you saw a bunch of other people get murdered too. Sorry about that. Wanna go for coffee? After you left, we searched the whole hideout. No sign of any other cultists. Satomi says there were just three. They wanted Mew to join and help rebuild their ranks. The Cult of Nine is dead. The Cult of Nine is dead. Oh. It's good to know. Slain by Satomi's hand. For some odd reason, I feel a smile forming on my lips. The Cult of Nine is dead. We did it. We took care of the threat that's been hanging over the Academy all year. Maybe school will return to normal now. Maybe my life will return to normal. I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, you did just witness a bunch of murder and death. You can't just be like, oh, anyway, math's hard. I'm convinced I've made that joke before. Anyway, let's continue. Maybe I'll stop seeing corpses in my dreams. God, I hope so. But I'm still not going to go to class today. I need time to just do nothing. I need time to forget about Noriko. You know, a day. I must have drifted off to sleep at some point because I awakened to another text message on my phone. Oh, hey, it's Shin. Hey, you got time to hang tomorrow? There's something I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, Shin. He mentioned during the festival that he had something to discuss. Kind of blew him off. Suppose we can meet up. Maybe after class, then I end up going to school at all. I send him a reply and tell him we can meet. Okay, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow then. That's right. Shin did want to say something, but I completely forgot about it because I normally don't really give a shit about Shin. I don't give a shin about it. I throw my phone to the side and lay back down. Just, just, eh, go. You're not wanted. And there we go. October 30th, as in the day I'm recording this. Oh, we're all caught up. How are you feeling, Bob's and Dugna? Oh, you did go to school. Okay, that's good. Stay in school, kids. We were worried when you didn't show up yesterday. I'm fine. Just had a lot to deal with. I'm sorry, Bob's and Dugna. That woman, she was your friend, wasn't she? Yeah, apparently. Do you think what she said is true? What, about us being puppets manipulated by some unseen power? Might be me. I don't know. Yeah, that, and also about being betrayed by someone close to us. I don't know. I don't know if any of it's true. I'll never get the chance to ask her about it, so I don't want to discuss it. Hmm. I mean, you could ask your teacher and be like, hey, shed some light on this. You obviously know more than we do. Shin told me to wait out front of the school once class finished. So, I waited at the gate like an obedient child. Hikari offered to wait alongside me. Oh, that's nice of her. Is he running late? I guess so. I'm surprised you wanted to wait with me. I thought you didn't like Shin. Hmm, I don't. But anyway... <laughs> Shin's okay, I guess. After a while, Shin finally turns up. Oh, hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, Hikari. Hi. <laughs> Shin seems annoyed that Hikari is here. He turns to me. Can we go for a walk? Yeah, okay. See you, Hikari. Thanks for waiting with me. Okay. See, that's Hikari's a good friend. I leave Akari behind and walk away with Shin. Mm. Oh, I know what that means. 
when a character pops up just before the end of the scene, I think Akari's following us, if I didn't know any better. Shin and I walk in silence for a while. There's a gloomy air hanging over him, and I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with how I'm feeling or the upbeat music that's playing. After all, Shin doesn't know anything about what happened with the cult, about what happened to Noriko. Or does he? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. So, yeah. Um, you look a little off today. Is everything all right? The weekend was pretty rough. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, yeah. School festival must have taken a toll on you, huh? Yes. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Something like that. Shin, what did you drag me out here for? Uh, yeah. Okay. Look, this is awkward for me to say. We've known each other forever, and that just makes it even more difficult. At these words, I have a brief flashback in my mind of Noriko telling me she's leaving. Is Shin doing the same? Is he gonna leave and eventually betray me and be the leader of the Cult of Nine More? That's what their comeback cult will be. Cult of Nine More. That's what I would call it. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, you see? Oh, the music cut out. Must be serious. And something in my life hasn't felt quite right for a while now. I feel, I feel kind of lonely. Something is missing, but like, I feel like something's been in front of me the whole time. Shen, are you in love with me? Because I'm, I'm not, I, uh, Shen, what are you saying? Look, I know you, like, I know you really, really well. We're best friends, right? I know, I know that you like women, girls, whatever. But, I was wondering, would you make an exception? This was not what I expected when I began recording a few minutes ago. Because I love you. I love you and I want to be with you. Listen, I just went to I I went to the store to make money. My dude completely taken aback. This is not the direction I thought this conversation was heading in. Shin loves me? How can this be? How did I never see this coming? What am I supposed to say to him? He knows I'm attracted to girls, but still, could we be together? Could we make it work? So, uh, don't keep me waiting here. I want to know what you think. Could could you date somebody like me? Shin, I... Look, I know you're putting you on the spot here, so you don't have to answer me today. Just think it over, would you? Yeah. Um, this is really awkward. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. Maybe just... Give me a call when you've had to think about it, okay? That sounds fair. I need some time to let this sink in. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks, uh, see ya. I'm in shock as I walk away. Shin sits down on the riverbank and watches me leave. I turn back to face him, and he gives me a sheepish wave and an awkward smile. Just, eh, maybe? I need to head home and think things through. It's... Uh... Uh... Ha happy, happy Halloween? This is just not what I was expecting. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Just an unexpected thing. I'm just, just saying. Shen confessed his love to me. I thought maybe it was all a dream, but it feels too real. What do I say to him? Do I want to be with him? Mm, I... Thanks. I'm flattered, but... Shin's so not my type. When is the right time to call and tell my decision? I just don't know. Regardless, I need to get to school. I'll think about this later. Okay, we're not gonna address the fact that it's fucking Halloween. It's Totes my goats Halloween. And, yeah, uh, uh, whatever. Happy Halloween! Uh, uh, you know, if I had only shifted my gaze slightly to a different part of the screen, I could have saved us all this last 30 seconds. Anyway. I feel like we've been celebrating Halloween for an entire week. The school festival is Halloween themed, and now today is the big day. Ah, my favorite time of year. To celebrate, I want to teach you a fantastic new potion. If you go trick-or-treating and give away a few of these brews, everyone will love you. It's the Sucker Potion Plus. Completely useless, but looks valuable, so you can sell it for a bucket load of cash. Here's what you need to do. Alright, I learned a new potion. And that's all there is to it. So, so... Are you saying that there's a possibility that I could... Gently decline Shin's advances? And then be like... But I'll tell you what I can do. I can sell you this. As a token of friendship. 
for eight thousand dollars. Now that'll be the potion. And that's all there is to it. Brew up one of these and sell it to a merchant. I hear there's a strange woman who hangs out in the forest that likes to buy and sell goods. I I always thought that lady was kind of like a park ranger. But, I don't know, maybe she's a ghost. Who knows? It's Halloween time. Anything can happen. Now, to continue our Halloween celebrations. Alright. At the end of the school day, I decide it's time to call Shin and tell him how I feel. There goes nothing. I give him a call and wait for him to pick up. No answer. I'll try one more time. Nothing. He's not picking up. I mean, jeez. You'd think he'd be waiting by the phone very much so. Weird, since I thought he'd be eagerly anticipating... Oh, see, there you go. The game and I are on the same page. Even though, even if I don't realize it right away. But no problem. I'll send him a text and ask him to call me when he's free. There. Done. <laughs> Thanks, game. I'll just wait for him to call. I mean, okay, I was going to do stuff after school, but, you know, whatever. Could have brewed that potion. Who knows? Practical magic class has never been the same since Mr. Shida died. Having Satomi teach us is unusual. All the more so now that I've seen what she's truly capable of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she knows. You cut class, she'll cut you. Since earlier this year, you have all been training to maximize your combat potential in the event the school is attacked. It's not yet public knowledge, but I suppose now is as good a time as any to let you know. The school is no longer in danger of attack. The Cult of Nine has been well and truly destroyed. A round of gasps from my classmates fill the air. This seems to be news to them. I guess everyone who knew the truth has kept tight-lipped about what happened over the weekend. The Cult of Nine is dead, and with them, Noriko. With the cult defeated, I can confidently say that no more students will be targeted. We can enjoy the rest of the school year feeling safe and secure. Practical magic lessons will take a more relaxed approach from now on. Alright. That does ease the sting of losing a dear friend a little bit. Easier homework. Not too terrible, I guess. Looks like word is out about the cult. Yes, yeah, Satomi officially informed our class this morning. About time. I thought she'd want to celebrate sooner. Yeah. Hmm. Still, the other students have no real idea of what went down. And I doubt Satomi is going to claim all the credit. You're right, the real details will remain under wraps, but what's important is that the people know we're safe now. Maybe we'll see some students return to the academy. Hell yeah, it'll be great to have things back to normal. This place feels freaking empty since so many students left after Aya died. Maybe now we can focus on studying for our final exams. Ugh, Mimi, why you gotta ruin the vibe? It would do you some good to study, Ray. That's what we call a vibe check. I think. I don't know. Someone leave a comment below tell me what does vibe check mean? I still don't know. Exams are on December 10th, so you've still got time, but keep it in mind. I'm not worried. My grades are incredible. Bob's and Doug, on the other hand, you should definitely study. I, I'm going to, but I'll have you know I got a perfect score last exam, so shut your face. What's that supposed to mean? You call me stupid? I'd never say such a thing. Never say such a thing, she says. Lies. Since I haven't heard back from Shin, I decided to try calling him again. Still no answer. What's going on with him? He's suddenly too shy to talk to me? Does he think he made a mistake by confessing? I really hope this doesn't go a doki doki route where we go over to Shin's house and it's like I gently open the door and then, you know, you know. I heave a sigh and send him another text. Guess I just have to be patient with him. Alright, well, we'll try one more day and hopefully we'll get in contact with Shin because I want him to be okay at least. Hey, bud, remember me? How about you pay me some attention for once, huh? Come on, you know you want to play with this fat little pupper. Hoshi, bug off. I'm getting ready for school. Oh, bug off, he says. Rude. Take me to the beach. What? It's cold and it's raining. You're crazy. I don't care. Come on, beach adventure. Why don't you just go and eat some breakfast? I'm busy. I already ate. Eat again. Leave me alone. It's like, well, since you, if you insist. Come on, take me to the beach. Hoshi, I swear. Beach, beach, beach. I've had enough. Right, that's it. I'm leaving for school. As I head out of my room, I switch the TV on. I crank up the volume. Oh, well, it's a dick move. Hoshi don't like that. Oh, what the hell do you think you're doing? You are not leaving the TV on while you're out. I can turn I can't turn it off with these fat paws. Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh jeez. 
sticking it to Hoshi, whom I have been told to not trust. So, I walk through the door and completely ignore Hoshi's protests. I'm begging you, don't leave the TV on! Please! I have a feeling that will come back to bite us in the ass. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't know. Good morning! Hey, you know, that dog of yours is nothing but trouble. He wanted to go to the beach today. Oh? Hmm, maybe I should come visit him. It's been a while. Yeah, you can take him back if you want. <laughs> By the way, a random question for you. Have you run into Shin lately? Shin? No, of course not. It's not like we hang out. Yeah, I know. I just can't get in touch with him. Never mind. Hmm. Doesn't matter. I'll try again later. Anyway, let's go to class. Once more, I find myself standing outside school, trying to call Shin. Still no answer. And it doesn't look like my text messages are being read either. What am I supposed to do? Oh! I know, I'll stop by the convenience store. Maybe he's caught up with work. Oh boy. Oh boy. I... I... have a feeling... something bad is about to happen to Shin, or has already happened to Shin. And we're about to find it, so... Here's to hoping we don't find another corpse. But Shin is nowhere to be seen. Someone else is working on the register and no one's in the storeroom. Guess that was a false lead. I'm just gonna go home. When I get back to my apartment, I hear the TV blaring. That's right, I left it on to punish Hoshi. You frickin' bastard! I've told you countless times not to leave the TV on when you go out. And what do you do? You deliberately disobey me. I've been stuck here with commercials playing most of the day. I'll never get the freaking jingles out of my head. You'll pay for this, Bobson and Doug Nut. Mark my words, one day you will pay. Whether you have an annuity or you need cash now, you'll know who to call. I can't, I'm not going to say the jingle. You know who it is. Okay. Commercials and news broadcasts. That's all that's been on. Do you have any idea how boring the news is? I don't care about human affairs. Well, you should. They suck. The most interesting bit was when they pulled a body out of the river. Some poor sod had his head bashed in and they discovered him floating downstream. I bet I know who that is. But at least he doesn't have commercial jingles ringing in his ears. Huh? Did you say someone was found in a river? Do you even listen to me? A rescue team pulled a dead body out from that river near here. Some punk-ass dude with blonde hair. Looks like a real piece of work. I... How, how did I not see this coming? I... The answer is... I did. The river near her. A punk dude with blonde hair. How common is blonde hair in Japan? Not very, I'd wager. The river near here. I love you. I love you and I want to be with you. Oh my, it's totally... I grab my phone and frantically search the net for news reporting Hoshi... For the news report Hoshi is talking about. Over a thousand results. The report's all over the place. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Local youth discovered in river. Authorities speculate murder. A young man identified as Shin Tanaka is the subject of a recent murder investigation. His body was discovered floating downstream after having sustained serious blunt trauma to his skull. Oh shit. Police are urging anyone with more information to come forward. Shin is... dead? What... what happened? What the fuck is that happening on the screen? Oh god. That's... holy shit. My... my best friend murdered. The river. They found him in the river, right near where he confessed to me. Then... Someone killed him after I left? I... Shin. Oh. Oh. I'm... Thinking... I may have an idea... Of who may be responsible... For... For this. Oh boy, because I noticed somebody was on screen just before me and Shin went off, and oh boy, Hikari, it better not be you. I don't want this to be like in that one Godfather movie where it's like they, they give the kiss. I knew it was you. You broke my heart. <laughs> but all right. We're gonna call it there. My god. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Another person died. Who would have thunk it? Jeez, Bops and Dugnut. I mean, well, I guess... I guess technically what Satomi said was right. No more students were getting murdered. But then Shin wasn't a student, so she was technically right, but I don't know. If you want to discuss this more with no spoilers, you can hang out with me on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash play where I play games live. It's a lot of fun. You should check it out. I, I enjoy myself, and now I'm in a new location. And so, so we can talk about that too. But thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.